Hey everybody, I am Christy with Create with Christy. Right now, it's 11 a.m. Central, and so our city has, this is when we have our practice drill for like tornadoes, so you might hear the sound in the background. It sounds like I'm supposed to be seeking shelter right now. I'm not, it's just practice. <laughs> Do y'all have that? Do y'all have that in your town? Y'all say hi as you pop on so I know you're here. I mean, it sounds like the world is ending. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so I don't see any um, interaction yet. So I'm kind of hanging around waiting for you to say hi. While, um, let me see. See if I can check to see if I'm live. And I should be in Christy's inner circle. There you go. Hi, guys. Good morning. I can't see any names yet. Do you hear that alarm? <laughs> Can y'all hear it? Oh, my goodness. And do y'all have that same thing, like the emergency broadcast system going off at 11 a.m.? That's when ours does. I just wonder if everybody has that. Plug in my other iPad. We got lots going on back here, y'all, behind the scenes. We got lights and cameras and <laughs> all the things. Saint from St. Louis, North Carolina, Arizona. Good morning from Texas. Okay, let's see. Can y'all hear it? Tell me if you can hear it. Okay, I'm in Christie's inner circle, inner tribe. Sounds like the Lord is talking to us. <laughs> okay, so, um, come on, where are you? There we go. I know I'm on, but I want to make sure city testing, yeah, testing the system. Yes, okay, I just like to see how, how it looks on camera and everything. Y'all, I'm so glad you're here. And this iPad doesn't tell me the name, so... You follow my, oh, you follow my Devo and Doodles? Awesome. Awesome. I am loving that, by the way. I'm loving that. Okay. You hear it? Okay. Well, that's why I kind of wanted to wait to start because I was like, oh, if they can hear that, mm, I might want to wait because it's a little distracting, isn't it? Okay. So, if you, if you just popped on, I'm Christy with Create with Christy. Yes, I'm Christy also, spelled the same way. Isn't that fun? I don't know how Christy feels, but I'm not sure when she was born. But when I was growing up, we never had keychains or anything with our name spelled right on it. And I haven't gotten over it. <laughs> ah. Oh, Terry's from Mississippi. Hello. Hi, Mindy. Hi, Janice. Good morning, Sharon. This is so fun. I am so blessed to be a guest in here today. Um, sorry distracted by technology. I don't want to power it off. What's happening? Sorry, y'all. Again, I want to see your comments. I'll just keep this over here to the side. Crazy technology. Um, anyway, so while I'm getting this ready, this is my website, Craft with Christy, and this is a set of free scripture cards. I would love for you to go grab them. It will put you on my email list, but you can unsubscribe if you're not interested at all. But I want you to get these um, for a few reasons. One is this is the perfect time for y'all to be sending out happy mail. And that's what I'm going to talk about today is happy mail. Um, happy mail is just mail that you send out. For fun. It's not a bill. It's not all the things, doctor's appointments. It is just fun mail that you send out. Um, and so today, um, what I've been doing lately is, I'm, because sometimes it's overwhelming to make your own card and send it out. I'm going to show you tips on how to do that. But if you don't have time, get something already printed. This is just a simple little scripture card. Write a little note on the back, thinking of you, praying for you, whatever, and pop it in the mail. It can be as simple as that. So it doesn't have to be overwhelming. Anyway, oh, take a screenshot if you want to, so you can go back, because I don't want you to leave right now, so you can go back and grab those. Um, I'll try to remember to show them at the end, too, for people who came in later. Hi, Terry. You send happy mail to your students. Ah, I love it. 
love it, Debbie. It really does make a difference. I got, I've been getting happy mail. In fact, let me, let me see if I can find it to show y'all. Ah, uh, mm, sorry. I, uh, I've been playing with so many different things. Mm, I'm making Mother's Day cards, so I've got Mother's Day stuff around. This is something I got yesterday in the mail. Look how fun. Okay, so I have a hand lettering tribe and um, we swapped pen pals. And so uh, actually we just made a list of people who wanted to participate. And so we've been, I've been getting happy mail y'all. So somebody made me that, isn't that cute? And then I got this card, which is already printed, but she put a, look at that. Look at that handwriting for one. Dude, she wrote stuff, y'all. Who has time to do this? That's why it's so special. And there's a scripture on the back. And then, let's see. Look how pretty the envelopes are. This is what I'm going to show you, how pretty Happy Mail is, can be. This was designed for me on the iPad. There's that one that she colored in. More pretty envelopes. Have y'all sent out Happy Mail before? Look at that envelope. I mean, when you open your mailbox, you're like, oh! What is this? So fun. Anyway, all these are happy mail that I got. And it's just so sweet, so sweet. So anyway, I want to encourage you to do that. And today, um, I'm going to give you some tips on, on what you can do. Okay? This is great. I love it. I love it. You send cards to nursing homes? Oh, you know they love that. You know they absolutely love that. Here's something I did in a class the other day. What do you think about that? You like that look with the watercolor, the uh, watercolor brush pens? That is what I'm gonna show you how to use today. I know that you have had hand letters in here. Um, I know that uh, Casey Hope has been an amazing guest in here. She's precious. She is so amazing at what she does. Definitely look up to her. Um, and so I feel like you might know the basics in hand lettering, but in case you're new and you have no idea or you've never been interested until now, let me show you a few things. One is, let me tell you a little bit about my story. I started teaching, hand, well, I started doing hand lettering because I had some um, anxiety and it really helped me relax. And so I just started hand lettering and people started asking me to teach. And I was like, I don't know if I can teach it. And then God just started opening door after door after door. And the next thing I know, knew, he help me write a book. I'm like, what? This was never on the radar. I wasn't even going to teach it. But anyway, I want to share with you some things in it. When you learn how to hand letter, there's two basic strokes that I like to teach. Okay. And then there's more strokes as well for, and you put the strokes together to make, um, letters. So you don't have to have beautiful penmanship. A lot of people think they do. Um, anyway, so in my book, there are, um, the basic strokes. Today I'm going to show you the upstroke and the downstroke. They're so easy, so easy. Um, but you do have to um, kind of uh, concentrate a little bit on the pressure that you put down. I'm not going to show you all these because we don't have time today. I'm, I'm trying to get, get, I'm not, I don't want to keep y'all all day. And for the replayers, um, it's nice to not have, you know, have to go through a, a long, long video. But anyway, this is broken down. A lot of people ask me about it. So I like to just go ahead and show you the inside of it. So I designed the book because in the beginning, um, I learned the basic strokes and then I was like, what do, what do I do with it now? I don't even know. So then I wanted to go more in depth with shadowing and highlighting and, and all the things. And then I was like, you know what? Doodling is what it's all about. Doodling is my, my thing. <laughs> and so today I'll show you some, um, how to make a banner and how to make a flower. These are my favorite, favorite things. Uh, and feel free at any time to take screenshots. Cause for me, when I go back and try to watch a video, I'm like, oh, where was that? Forward, backward, forward, backward. And so if you have a, the opportunity to take screenshots, I recommend that because you may never find it again or you may spend hours trying to find it. Anyway, and then the back of the book is broken down. I have scriptures, just traceables in the back. Um, so there's that. There's that. All right. So basic strokes. Basic strokes. And I'm just going to show you with a Crayola marker. You don't have to have a lot of money or anything fancy. Actually, I'm going to show you with... Uh, Ooh, I gotta show you this magic pen if you've never used that. And where are you, Crayola marker? There you are. Okay, so you don't have to have anything fancy, like I said. First thing I'm gonna show you is the Crayola marker. It's got a, a tip and then a wide side. So I'm gonna go up thin and down thick. 
I'm going to use the point to go up and the side to go down. Those are the two main strokes you need to know. Every time you write down, okay, every time you make a down stroke, it's thick. Every time. Okay, that's the basic, basic letter uh, lesson, if you haven't, if you didn't already know that. And then foligraphy. So, this Sharpie doesn't have uh, the opportunity to do a point and a side, you know, a wide side. So, when, you, when I use a Sharpie or any kind of pen that doesn't have that, um, so you don't have that up and down stroke, okay? It's just the same. So, we do foligraphy with this, which is F-A-U-X equals fake. So, what I do with this is every time I make a downstroke, I make it thicker. Same thing, same idea, right? Um, so if I write the word love, and I'm just writing it in cursive, just normal, I'm gonna do downstrokes right next to, make thicker strokes right next to every line that goes down. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm gonna write it bigger so you can see it better, okay? Someone asked about, can you buy my workbook? Yes, you can. You sure can. Um, in the description, I have a link to my Amazon shop. So if you just look up there, and then it's in there, along with the pins that I'm going to show you today. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm so glad y'all are all here. This is so fun. Okay, so love. When you make a downstroke, so this is up. I don't do anything. This is down. I'm going to make a thick line, okay? This isn't my prettiest work. We'll get pretty in a minute, okay? So, downstroke here, fill it in. I'm just doing a recap of basic lettering for those who haven't done it before. A lot of you may already know this, so hang in here. We're gonna do some fun stuff. Okay, there's that. That's your basic foligraphy. That's it, that's it. So today, that's all you need to know. Um, I'm gonna show you this magic pen do y'all know about this? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. It's called Friction, and it's a erasable pen. I'll show you why it's so fabulous in a minute. All right, so what I want to do is introduce watercolor brush pens to you. Anything I show you today, you can take and put it on one of your, you know, paintings. I know y'all do, like, paintings in here. Um, and so you can take that same idea, I'm sure Christy showed you too, is to make those thick downstrokes. Okay, we're going to do... We're going to get some watercolor paper, and I like to buy stuff that's already done because if I have to cut it and do all the things, then it might not happen. So I just buy it already cut. So this is just watercolor cards from Strathmore. Any kind of watercolor works. And I like that it has the envelopes with it. So there's my watercolor. Oh, that's not a card. Here we go. Screenshot. Anybody want to take a screenshot? Well, let me show you the other products, and then you might. So you can go back and look. It's always hard to um, show all the things. So I'm going to make myself smaller so you can see better. Okay, so here's these. I'm going to show you how to use the watercolor brush pens by Crafty Croc today. We're going to use watercolor cards. I'm going to use the friction erasable pen. Okay. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, ready? Screenshot? I'll smile for it. <laughs> I am so cheesy. Okay, inside here, I'm going to open these. I have a lot of them taken out right now, but it has a really nice variety of colors. Watercolor brush pens are um, actually watercolor inside a brush, so you don't have to worry about water, getting all the water and stuff out. Now, sometimes I do like to add water to them because you can blend them better. Okay, set these to the side. Okay, and another thing that I like to do is I like to use a piece of scrap paper to look at my color combinations, okay? So I am gonna do, well, it's Mother's Day Sunday, so some of you might wanna make a Mother's Day card. Of course you don't have to, you can put anything on it. Um, but I start thinking about flowers when I do Mother's Day, and I start thinking about pinks and purples and all the things, things that really blend together well. So, let me pull these out. Do y'all do that? Do you like do a little paint sample to make sure the colors go together that you like? So, see how it's like watercolor. See how it's just, it's not a, a perfect pen, like, like if you had a bullet point pen or even a brush pen. This, this works like a brush pen because if you use the tip and you go up, you can make it thin. 
and then you can make it thick when you go down. But it's a different look, it's a whole different look. So there's that color. This is a super light color. I'm not sure how well it shows up. Okay, and then I've got this beautiful purple color, which I think will blend nice. I've got two shades of green. I always like to have more than one shade of the same color. I don't know how y'all, if y'all are, um, y'all probably do that too, because it just gives it depth, you know? Makes it look, look better. All right. That's what that's uh that's our samples. I like these colors together. I've got these pulled to the side. I've got my erasable pen. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with um 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 do y'all wanna do that heart card? It's so pretty. I really like it. Let's do this. I know it's hard for you to see. <laughs> okay, I'll move the envelope so we have more room. Okay, so it's like we're always having to adjust stuff so y'all can see better. All right, so what I want to do first, a lot of times I don't do this because I'm used to lettering, I'm used to doing all these things, um, but I love to teach this because in the beginning you definitely want to be able, uh, feel confident about your lettering or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I'm gonna use this um, as an example right now. I'm just gonna kind of show you. I think freehand is good, but see how I can just keep sketching this out? Let's pretend like this is a pencil. Do y'all use the, oh, you know what? Tell me if you already use this for when you're designing your painting. Do y'all already use a friction pen? Tell me that, because that makes a difference to know if y'all are already familiar with it, because if not, I wanna blow your mind. Okay, so, so I know that you do use the friction pen already. Put yes, F, P for friction pen because that's a lot to type out. Yes, F, P, and then I'll know if y'all already use this. Okay, and now I'm just, I'm just planning this out. You could do, um, I think I'm going to do best mom ever because I think that would be sweet for now, but you also see a different way that you can do hello. Now, why am I doing this like this right now? Making a mess? Because I want to show you something so cool. No, no, ooh. You're gonna, I'm gonna blow your mind. Unless you already know about this, but I'm gonna do best mom ever. Now this looks pitiful, but I'm just sketching it out. I kind of want to know where my layout is, right? <gasps> I'm so excited y'all don't know this. Okay, so can I use this erasable pen to erase? Yes, absolutely. But if you have a heat gun, which I bet a lot of you do, watch this magic. Are you ready? Ready for a magic trick? Okay, watch ever. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Is that not incredible? Isn't that incredible? Okay, if your mind is blown, give me the emoji with the head, the brain exploding. <laughs> Okay, good, good. It's so fun to know that you, maybe you learned something new today. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do now is, um, it is good to go ahead and get some water on your paper, which I'm gonna freak some of y'all out and I'm gonna use, uh, the, I'm gonna actually use this to add, but right now I'm just gonna make my heart. Now, am I worried about it being perfect? I'm not. I'm not. This is handmade. This is fun. Um, <laughs> I see the mind blown. Yay. I know. Isn't it awesome? Ah, love it. Ah. Anyway, um, one thing I, I want you to know is that when people start hand lettering, a lot, a lot of people feel like I can't do this or they start feeling like, um, you know, my handwriting's no good or I don't know. They just start getting those feelings of how it has to be perfect. And that's the last thing that you want with this. It's not supposed to look perfect. And so I just like for you to let go, take a deep breath and let go of the perfectionisms that a lot of us have. And I want you to think about with hand lettering, I always tell my students, like what I do is Christyligraphy, okay? And if you get my book or if you get someone else's uh, book and you 
want to trace it and learn. Okay, yeah, you might be learning Christy Ligraphy. However, you're going to develop your own style, and then it's going to become your name, Patty Ligraphy, Terry Ligraphy. Um, I think it does work with a hair dryer, Terry. Okay, so you start thinking that way. Now, I'm just kind of randomly putting uh, some of these some of these on here because I'm going to blend it in in a minute. Okay, don't you love that look, that watercolor look? Anybody in here already hand litter? I bet we have some hand litters. So if you do hand litter, just write yes, HL. Or no, HL. I want to know. who You can put beginner. You can put advanced, expert, I teach it, whatever. <laughs> All right, so there we have that. Now, don't freak out. I do have some water, and I am going to put this pen in here. And I'm picking up some water with this pen, okay? And then I'm just going to start. Yes, we do have some hand letters. Awesome. Uh, yes, I'm going to show you, actually. Yes, it will do it if you've already watercolored over it. Sure will. We're going to do that. telling you it's just a miracle it's a miracle um and i could definitely just use a, a regular paintbrush for this but right now this looks like water but it's going to start coming back out as color in a minute and see how vibrant that one is i just go back and add more color You try, you're not good at it. It just takes practice. I wasn't good at it either. I got better because I practiced. It's been a couple of years. I don't know how, how many of you um, are trying to find something um, extra to do during the quarantine, but this is such a great way to relax, and it's such a great way to memorize and learn scripture, give you peace of mind, um, forget about uh, the things that you might be worried about, it's a great time for that. So. Okay, so as far as the erasable pen, it's called friction with with a with an X. Can somebody type that in? F R I X I O N. And so um, I know that you can find them in the office section at different stores. So like, um, I think someone even saw them at Walmart the other day. Or I have them in my link in my online Amazon store. Okay, so I can still kind of see the marks from the pen, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it because I want you to see. So I'm putting best mom ever, and this isn't my total best handwriting. I am um, kind of just trying to get it on here so I know where to where I'm going to put it. I have an idea of where I'm going to put it. Thank you. Yes, friction. Y'all got it. Because a lot of people think it's spelled differently, which I did. Now, I love black. Black shows up so well on here. And so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to actually just use the Crafty Crop black brush pen, brush marker. And this is where I'm going to take my time um, a little bit more. So I'm going to have my upstroke thin. And then a thicker downstroke, upstroke thin. I don't have to go like on the lines exactly. These two letters are kind of pushed together, so I'm going to keep that in mind. And I'm going to go a little bit further over for my T so they don't get too squished. And then I'm going to go back over it. This would have a complete different look if you used a Tombow marker or if you used a Pentel brush pen, which Pentel is really my favorite, favorite for lettering. But this is just a totally different look. And I love to show people um, when you buy a, like a new product, like the watercolor brush pens might be new to some people and they might not, or sh you know, may not want to purchase them unless they th see that they can do more things with it. So you can use this as a marker or as um, a tool to color in. These are so fun. Okay.
Now, if you get water back on this, it's gonna bleed. So you don't want your black to bleed, so keep that in mind. Are we having fun yet? Give me some hearts if you're having fun. See, autocorrect, I know, because that's the way I would have spelled it anyway. Okay, and then I can go back and thicken my downstrokes if I want to. So somebody mentioned that they follow me and watch my Devo and Doodles. I do Devo and Doodles on Mondays, um, and it's 11 o'clock. No, I'm sorry. It's noon central. Thanks for the hearts. It's noon central, and um, it's on my page, Create with Christy, and then I share it to my private free group. So that way, if you miss it, it'll be organized. You can go to the unit section, and you can watch all the Devo and Doodles. So, request to join my um, hand letter doodle and pray page. And then um, you'll be able to get, you'll be able to see the other ones. But I just do a little devotion and then I share just a little lettering tips. Okay, so see how they look completely different? Because no two are going to look exactly the same, right? Which to me is special. Okay. Now let's take, oh, thank you. I love the hearts. Yes, um, collecting. Yes, Christy, <laughs> collecting the pins is uh, everything. We have to have all the pins, right? I even like how this one has like a little, we, some people call that a mistake. I call that character. Um, but anyway, I like that it, it has that watercolor look, you know? And so look at the difference in the two. Completely different, but equally cute, right? All right, now. Let's see, uh, you missed the first few minutes. You don't wanna miss, you come back, come back and watch. Would this work with Tombos? Yeah, cause Tombos are also, yeah, absolutely. Okay, now what's fun is right now I'm doing, um, I just did a drawing last night for people who wanna nominate their mom for me to send them a Mother's Day card from them. And so I'll be able to use this, this for one of them. But y'all, they were the sweetest notes, the sweetest notes that people were writing about their moms. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are making me cry. Okay, so now we're going to do an envelope similar to this. What you want to do first, <laughs> and I know this very well, is you want to check to make sure your envelope is the right side up. It's not the worst thing if it's not, because I hear it's good luck if you, if you actually accidentally do it <laughs> down. Okay, I'm going to take a sticky note, just a random sticky note, just so I can kind of make a box. Just make a box. You could do that also with your erasable pen. So especially if you're not sure, you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But I like to do loose lines because, well, for one, I don't like it perfect. I really like that whimsical look. But if you are the type that you've got to have your ruler, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. But I, I would challenge you to let go of that perfectionism like I talked about earlier. <laughs> okay, and then look, you've got your little box. How simple is that? You love both looks? Good, good. They're one of a kind, that's for sure. Now, I've got my little box here. Um, I wanna keep my sticky note here. Is, this is a sweet little sticky note, uh, a note someone sent me, so I'm just using this. Which actually makes it more fun, right? So I could look at that sweet thing. Okay, I'm using this um, so I can make, see how these flowers, they don't go into the box? I'm making like a border. All I'm doing is keeping this on here so it's easy to do. Okay, so what I want to do is take my marker, I mean my watercolor brush pen. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Uh, Alexa, stop. Oh my goodness, I have all these alarms set. Can you believe 30 minutes has gone by already? I can't. I cannot. Cannot. Okay, my purple doesn't has not come back yet from that one. Maybe don't dip it in, maybe don't dip them in uh, water. Just use a paintbrush. I just was desperate. <laughs> and I'm doing swirls, y'all. Swirls. Sw swirls. So easy. I mean, it might look like it did something fancy here. I didn't. I did swirls. Look. I just want to make sure that I stay on top of the sticky note as much as I can. Now, in the beginning, when you first start doing this and you lift up the sticky note, you're like, uh... I don't know about this. This isn't looking too good. So see? But when you start filling it in really well, 
Then you'll see the magic happen, okay? Now, I know I'm going fast. I'm gonna keep going fast because I wanna be able to get through this because I really wanted to stick with 30 minutes and our time is already up. Oh, I went on the inside, but that's not the end of the world. I promise, I promise. Notice I'm doing some bigger and some smaller. It gives it a lot more character that way. Okay, and so now I'm gonna go to, uh, I have that third light color. I think it's too light though for this. Maybe not. So if y'all play with watercolor brush pens, I mean, water pens, they actually have some that come in this this uh, Crafty Croc kit I showed you. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have them in there, but the two come in there, and then I always pull them out and then stick them somewhere else. And they're never where they're supposed to be. Never. I know y'all don't have that problem, but. Okay, what they are is you put water inside of them if you haven't seen them before, and then you squeeze and the water comes out, okay? So that makes it really nice when you're blending. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some water on here to show you how they blend. So really, I've only shown you the set of Crafty Croc watercolor brush pens. I've shown you the little friction pen. You can use that for so many things. I've used it on wood when I was like trying to write something straight on wood. Now, you don't wanna press too hard because you can get in an indention with it, but, um, it's, it's great. If you're writing right over it, it's great. Now, I do want to warn you um, that if you are writing in a journal or something that's special and you just want to use that erasable pen because it's, it's in case you, you know, need to erase something, it obviously erases with heat. If you live in Texas in the summer and you leave it in your car, guess what? All your journaling is gone. So keep that in mind. That's really important to know. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna use um, my darker green to just make some leaves, random leaves. Remember, you've got a stamp up here, so it's gonna cover some of that. So don't spend too much time up there. And I'm just like randomly putting leaves. This looks like a mess while I'm designing it, but it all comes together. And if you notice the Happy Meal that I got, a lot of them saw the class that I did and that's what inspired them to make their envelopes like this. So that just made me feel so good that they got something out of it. Okay, and I am, look, they're just not even special. They're not even special leaves. They're just, they're just random leaves, okay? Now, I can go ahead and take this off. Let's see what happened. I have a little bit of bleed, but that's okay. I still haven't traced around that box. Um. Okay, now I wanna go ahead and take a lighter green and start to fill that in. I can go back and add some water to blend it. What do y'all think so far? Do you, oh, you love this, thank you, Carrie. I'm glad you love this. I hope this is just a little break in your day that you can enjoy and forget about your worries. Okay, and then you could go back, fill in here and there where you feel like something might be missing. Um, okay, I'm gonna dry this. And when I dry this, uh, 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 oh, wait, 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 let me give you an example. When I dry this, that pen mark's gonna disappear. So this is my chance to, if I want to go ahead and trace over that line. I'm actually not gonna trace over that line and I'll tell you why. Because this has um, gone over well, okay, this is still wet. That's for one reason, because I want it to dry before I use a marker, because you know what happens when you use a marker over something that's wet, it's trash forever. So, but if I were you, I would wait for it to dry and then trace it where you want to. But for me, I just want this to dry so I can go ahead and demonstrate. Oh, you want to do this for your senior Sunday school? I love it. They will love it. They will love it. That one was being stubborn. See right here, that right there? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's gone now, it's gone now. Okay. Magic, that one came back a little, so you just go back and, let me see. You'll see that? I 
I don't know why sometimes it comes back a little, but I can always go over that. Now, I'm gonna take a thicker black pen. One of my favorites right now is, uh, are these Unipens. They are water and fade proof. And then I could use my sticky note if I would feel more comfortable doing that, or I could just freehand it. I'm gonna wing it because I'm pretty wild. I'm a wild woman, I live on the edge. And I kind of wanted that to um, go around where it was wanting to come on the inside. All right, now I'm gonna make my double line because I just love that look, don't y'all? If you don't, if you're more of a um, precise or you like thing, you like straight lines and that's, everybody's different, then get your ruler out. I saw somebody say they couldn't even draw straight with a ruler. Me neither, that's why this is what my cards look like. <laughs> and then, look y'all, it's almost done. You could leave it like this or if you wanted to write something over here on the side. Um, and I did, I added some lines here. Do y'all know another trick I have? I wish I had it to show you. Have you ever used a laser level for straight lines? It's so amazing. So you just get one of those laser levels that people use to measure stuff with. You set it down right beside it and it shoots a line and then you have a straight line to write on and you don't have to write lines. It's pretty cool. Okay, um, I could go around these, do, uh, these and make them black and make them pop out. There's so many things I could do, but I'm gonna leave the, the uh, creativity up to you on how you wanna you know, make your card. I would love for y'all to post pictures too. I would love to see if you're following along with me because you can do it with any markers. Remember, you can do it with whatever. Any, You know what you can do it with? You can even do it with Crayola markers. They, You can get them and you can blend them as well. So uh, don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money. But if you're like me and you want all the things, then you know my link's up there above. All right, over here, I'm gonna actually write um, Happy Mother's Day because it's gonna go to a mom. And I'm just gonna whimsical write it pretty and not worry about capital letters and all the things. I might capitalize mom. And I could just keep going, y'all. I could um, shadow this. I could do all kinds of things. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right now and. Um, let you take a screenshot, if you'd like to, of what we did today, just to get an idea. You could do more doodles, you could do all the things, all the things. We just don't have time to just do all the things right now. Okay, um, another thing is if you joined late and you want my free set of scripture cards, let me show you how to get those. Put that right there. This is my website, Craft with Christy. And then here's my set of free scripture cards that you can go get um, that you can start either memorizing, you can tuck into a card, you can tape it to a gas pump, you can, um, for someone to obviously find, <laughs> and then tape it on a mirror to memorize it, look at it for inspiration for tracing. These are one of the first cards that I was actually hired to do a real big size of them. And I didn't even realize I was memorizing them. I was just like, oh my gosh. So I would, you know, focus on writing them before you knew it. I was like, oh my gosh, I, I know this now. <laughs> I know this now. All right, guys. So if you had a chance to take a screenshot, hopefully that'll help you so you can go back and remember and find all the things. Do y'all have any questions before I go? And remember, it doesn't have to say mom. It can say anything, anything. It'd be great for any time of the year. A sympathy card, um, thank you. Just fill in the blank. Aw, thank y'all so much for all the love. Aw. I love it. I love it. Thank you. But y'all, um, I'm going to put down here at the bottom the name of my free group. So if you are interested in joining... You can go back and watch all my devos and doodles. Use your scripture cards in my Bible journal. Oh, that's awesome. Another great idea. So this could be a tip in. And if you do Bible journaling, that would be fun. There's so many things you can do with them. But anyway, y'all can print them out as much as you want. 
Um, so it's not just like, you know, one copy, save it and then just keep printing it out. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you guys. Y'all are adorable. Is it, is it too soon for me to say I love you? Because, you know, is that awkward? <laughs> but I do love you guys. I appreciate you um, joining in. This is so fun. And thank you, Christy, for having me. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.